Do you know how to determine the best way to intervene when a piece of equipment is in need of maintenance? This can be defined by various types of maintenance and each team should always be tracking how many work orders are made on a daily basis. I'm Dan from Traction and in this video we'll cover maintenance planning and how to optimize the activities through the distribution of maintenance types. This video is a part of a series about the main maintenance KPIs. We'll also be covering MTBF and MTTR, reliability, availability, and many others. The distribution of maintenance types will guide the way the team works on a daily basis and directly contribute to the success of the maintenance mission, which is to ensure equipment availability, production line reliability, environmental preservation, and appropriate costs in order to meet a process or service. Basically, we can classify maintenance interventions into planned or unplanned, corrective, preventive, and predictive maintenance. But you probably know this already, right? The interesting thing is that each type of maintenance has its characteristics in relation to the resources and its total cost. Corrective maintenance is characterized by a low cost in the short term. However, because it's more passive and is exposed to failures, it can become very expensive over time. Preventive maintenance seeks to avoid the occurrence of failures and can considerably reduce the cost in the long term. But if not well planned, it can lead to higher costs in parts and services. Lastly, predictive maintenance uses condition monitoring of machines to optimize interventions and thus further reduce costs in the long term. So usually you'll have a mix of these types of maintenance according to the reality of your company. It's indispensable to keep monitoring how much has been done of each type in relation to what was actually planned. The more you can implement predictive maintenance, the more equipment data information, the better you can optimize your resources. In global reliability standards, the maintenance manager should keep the unplanned corrective actions below 20%. It's always good to restrict them as much as possible and leave the preventive interventions at about 30 to 40% and maximize the predictive ones. We have seen a sharp decline of unplanned corrective interventions and the increase of predictive ones. This is due to the rise of technologies that help maintenance workers to monitor the assets, continuously sampling the data, providing analysis to help the decision-making process. And in your environment, how does it work? Is it still very much based on corrective maintenance? We at Traction know how difficult it is to change this, and that's why our mission is to be the right hand of the maintenance workers and an all-in-one industrial workspace to provide condition-based maintenance. Click on the link in the description to learn more. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.